Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'll be showing you how to use a simple flight plan in the Quest of Brothers Rafale mod. Uh, I have a Rafale Charlie at 3000 feet over the uh, over Kobalati and going to follow the um, simple flight plan I have here until I get to the localizer for runway 07 uh, and then I'll switch over to the the default ILS system that um, comes with the Flaming Cliffs 3 mod uh, module just so that um, anybody who has never landed ILS with the Russian avionics uh, gets an idea of how it works. So uh, we'll jump in the cockpit and we'll take it from there. Right, so we're over Kobaletti and um, just have a quick look around the cockpit. So as you can see, apart from this annoying pitch ladder, we're in the en route mode and we're 3.3 nautical miles away from the waypoint one. Uh, as you can see, our cross is inside the circle, so we're heading straight for waypoint one. We get, we've got our altitude and required altitude for the flight plan. Required speed, we're slightly over that. Um, and then down here, we have the flight plan in a sort of a GPS type mode, uh, which we can also use. And Fuel then, shh. And then on the left-hand MFD, we have a uh, an ADI uh, with um, coarse needles um, showing us our way to the waypoints as well. I uh, will add that there is localizer and glide slope for ILS here, but they don't seem to do anything. But we'll see um, if anything happens when I get round to the other end. Um, so yeah, these needles, there's two needles there. They'll split um, and they'll swing to the next waypoint as I go through uh, each waypoint. Um, sorry, I'm being nailed by enemy MiG-29s, which I forgot to take out of the mission. Um, so please just try and ignore that. <laughs> Anyway, we're 3,000 feet up, um, we're over our destination, but we're going to go around, do a downwind, go on to initial, get on to um, finals, uh, switch over to landing mode, and then figure out ILS as and when we do it. So, uh, out of pause, we're just going to follow these. Uh, directions that are, we've been given and obviously that's your cheat sheet right there so if you don't know where you are or where you're supposed to be um, then you can uh, always use that so as you can see the um, course needle swung around there 90 degrees um, showing us going to waypoint 2 and this circle has shifted out of the cross ever so slightly. Um, when I've used these avionics before, um, following a route can be a bit some, somewhat of a pain in the backside because they're not exactly um, magical. You've got to really keep that cross in the circle to get to where you want to go. If you let it drift out too far, then recovery if, if you're not used to it, recovery is just not going to happen. So, um, luckily we've got two other forms of um, guidance here, so we can always follow those. Um, so we'll carry on. And what I may do is I'll speed it up, um, as and when we get to each waypoint, I will stop just to explain a little bit more. Just another uh, note. Uh, as you see, the, the needles are split into two. This uh, solid white arrow is our weight uh, points to the waypoint. This arrow here is showing you the direction of the flight plan, but it doesn't show you how to get onto the flight plan. Um, it's not like if you were following a VOR or anything like that, you'd get a a course deviation line to get you back on unless of course that swings in which I've not seen it do 
Um, usually you get a course deviation line to tell you that you're off the flight plan, but um, unfortunately uh, there's nothing of nothing of that sort of help at all on here. So um, the extreme novice um, is it's good to just stick to the GPS view of this and then sort of practice uh, and use these instruments as we, as and when you get used to them. So we'll carry on. Oh. Slightly above altitude anyway. One and a half nautical miles away. We'll get a course cool swing in a minute. There we go. pointing in the right direction we head back towards the flight plan right so we're coming up to initial now um, for the waypoint to, there we go, onto the next one. This should be relatively short. So there you go. That's the end of the flight plan. Now, as you can see we're on the return mode, that's automatic. Uh, after we get past the 5 nautical miles that's on here um, to the localizer, that's how far out I am, um, that will switch to landing and then we should see some more symbology pop up and when that happens I will pause it again and show you. There we go, it's switched to landing mode. Um, so, um, we're 17 and a half nautical miles out, dead ahead, basically, the airfield, and um, you can't, so much clutter in the way, you can't see it, um, but it's there, and um, yeah, basically, we follow this circle, keep the, the cross in the circle again, reduce to 230, uh, kilometers an hour down to 962 meters and um, just follow the instructions from there so we're gonna unpause again so keep the nose up just sort of right back keep that cross in drop the landing gear drop the flaps keep keep bringing it in on that circle keep it as close to the circle as you possibly can Let's hit the outer marker three point one nautical miles out okay and two nautical miles that's the inner marker Okay, so it's just a matter of bringing it in now. There we go, throttle right back, we're over the threshold, over the piano keys, and we're down. So there you go, that's uh, flight plan and ILS in the Rafale mod. So I hope that's helped somebody and appreciate you watching and as always take care and I'll see you in the next one.